Yeah, thanks, Grant. The snow has stopped falling here in Elmira, but that does not mean that the job is done for the snowplow crews. Uh, again, over the past few days, we've gotten just about over a foot of snow here, uh, but the roads still have to be cleared. So I spoke with the public information officer for the New York State uh, Department of Transportation, Jordan Guerin, and he said that the, the snow crews have around 12 hour shifts, and it's something that they're really used to, even though it is difficult. They're long days for our crews, but, but they're used to this, and this is what we prepare for. This is what we train for, um, and we do work in shifts. So, uh, you know, they, they do get some time off, and, uh, you know, they get to go home to their families, rest up, and then, and then they go back out again. And Garen continues, and he continues to told me that um, the resources can be moved as necessary for this past snowstorm. They really didn't need as many resources here in Elmira, so they actually sent some some snowplows up to Rochester, where they did have some higher totals. Um, and again, at the end of the day, he said, "Really, this is what we prepare to do. This is what we train to do, uh, and it's really just New Yorkers helping New Yorkers." And uh, speaking of New Yorkers, again in Corning, they're trying to help each other, but the snow has been getting in the way. So we're going to reach out. We're going to uh, toss it to Ariel Salk, who is there in the Corning bureau. Uh, Ariel, what can you tell us about what's going on in Steuben County?